Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, just wanted to do a little follow-up on um, something some um, of you have asked me, you know, so you you use um, OBS Studio for, um, you know, screen recording. Of course, some of you have asked me if I use it for streaming on the internet, uh, like on YouTube Live, stuff like that. So here's the thing. Yes, I am using OBS Studio, which is this little thing now. Right now, what you see is my screen of being recorded right now. Um, and what I would say is, it is a good tool um, for screen recording, and it is quite amazing and has a lot to offer. It has a lot of options. It's a free screen recorder and um, streamer. Also, you can stream on Twitch. You can stream on YouTube. It has a lot of different options. Now, what I would say is probably the most negative side of the OBS Studio is the very difficult to understand options and interface. And it takes time to get used to. But honestly, it does a really good job with what it has to do. Now, another thing also is that it does take quite a lot of power. So when your computer is a little older, it has a lot of problems. I've tried to run it on Core 2 Duo machines, old machines with Windows 7. It doesn't work well. It doesn't work well because it takes a lot of resource to actually do what it does. And um, for that, maybe, you know, it's sad because a lot of, actually, all the screen recorders that I've tried right now, are all on that side. They're all really complex things. They're all really um, heavy on resource. And I think, of course, you know, it's the way that it encodes everything. <clears throat> you gotta, you know, record the screen. You gotta or, or send out video, and and you gotta, you know, encode it in a format. So it does take a lot of power, and that's part of these programs most of the time. But I still I kind of settled on OBS Studio as my main screen recorder. One of the things also is the fact that if you use it, for example, I use it on a Windows Insider machine. One of the things that I hate on the Windows Insider machine is the fact that every time I get a new build, I have to reconfigure the audio because the audio is always changed. And uh, that's a little annoying, but, you know, still, it works and it does the job and it does it quite well. Um, it will work on some older machines. For example, I've got an older Core i3 and the Insider machine also is a Core i3. And one of the things that it does regularly is tell me that it's buffering, you know, it's it's kind of being used too much. So when you actually use it, and especially when the disk usage on your PC is high, it, it, it will give you an error message saying, oh man, you know what, the encoder is kind of uh, saturated and uh, try to change the settings. So of course you can change the settings, but one of the things that I did notice is even though it says that it still works fine, it's just that when you actually stop the recording, because of probably all the hard work it has to do, it can take up to a minute, a minute and a half sometimes to kind of tell you that it stopped recording the screen. But, you know, at least it works fine. So my, my, my opinion of OBS Studio is pretty good. I'll post a link to OBS Studio um, where you can download it below in the description below the video. So if you wish to try it out as a screen recorder, it is great. And of course you can try it out as a um, YouTube streaming software. Problem is, I got a, pro a lot of problem really understanding how to stream correctly, uh, which made me, you know, kind of go to other types of streaming devices, including using my old Galaxy S7 phone to stream because honestly it does it so well. I'm starting to think, well, you know, uh, instead of having an old phone that I do nothing with, why not have an old phone that, um, you know, does something and it's my streaming device. So, um, anyways, if you want to try it out, free of charge, uh, you have to install the packages, so you'll be uh, prompted to have the .NET packages installed, both the, 80, the uh, x86 32-bit version and the 64-bit version of each but once that's installed, you'll see that OBS Studio is going to install correctly. And uh, try it out. It's a nice solution, free, for uh, basically um, doing screen recording, streaming, and, and many other things. It's a very complete package, uh, honestly, for video editing, recording, and streaming. 
If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.